All right, folks, quick video for you guys that have a small block Chevy V8. And this probably applies to a lot of other engines. I'm sure it applies. I'm not sure, but I don't see why it wouldn't, you know, to like the Chevrolet 4.3 liter. And there's probably many other vehicles out there that this would happen to. But from a quick Google search, I see it's a huge problem on the uh, small block Chevys. So, you guys know what this is? It's your oil pressure switch. Yeah, it's a greasy son of a gun. It was it was leaking all over the place. I had to change it. Now, this is off of 83 Camaro with the 30 or about 83 El Camino with the 305. And this is located just above the oil filter on the uh, driver's side rear back of the engine there above the oil filter. And uh well, you would think it would unscrew right out of there and you put a new one in, right? Well, you know what happens, right? Yes. So you have this uh, brass adapter that screws into the block. And then that screws into the brass adapter. You can see what happened. Now, I didn't even apply a lot of pressure to this, and you shouldn't have to. As soon as I went to turn it with the wrench, barely any pressure at all, it fell right off the car. And I was like, oh, oh. And I looked up there, and well, this is what was left in the engine, of course. This was still on there. So I had to get that out of there. Looking back, what I should have done is I should have just left this in the engine because it still had threads, and I just could have threaded a new one in. But anyways, long story short, after removing the exhaust manifold, so I had access to it, and after attempting to fabricate my own tool and getting the welder out and all kinds of other bullshit, um, I quit being hard-headed and just ran down to my local hardware store and bought their proper tool. Here you go. This was from my local Big R, but they'll have this anywhere. There you go. Spiral screw extractor. And for uh, this size right here on the <clears throat> GMC small block, uh, that's what it says to use. That's if you're, you know, of course, drilling something and you're going to use this. But um, I guess there's a part number right there. BSP E5 and let me tell you even with this you know of course you put it in and you turn it out backwards even with this to get this thing out the son of a gun was in there so tight I had a uh, 3 it's ratchet on it and there was no way I could get it out by hand I had to put I'll show you here, so I had my 3 8 ratchet on it. Of course, I had the appropriate size 12-point uh, socket to go on that, that uh, square head there. I forget what size it is. I couldn't, I couldn't get it off with all my might, and I ain't weak. Yeah, I had to put the pipe over the end of it and have leverage, and even then, it was so hard to turn, I thought the easy out was going to snap off on the block. But eventually, this bit so far into it i can't replicate it here but it would go on a lot farther than that it bit onto there so deep and tight that it uh pulled that sucker out of there so got a new one i'm gonna put it in got a new sensor the new little new little fitting right here got the new sensor in there we're gonna get it done but yeah guys if that snaps off on you and you need to change it, do yourself a favor. Don't try to make your own tool and waste hours like I did. Just run down and pay five bucks for the extractor and get it out of there. All right, y'all yeah, be good out there.